going on there, YouTube? <gasps> Big Ben with Twisted 320 has returned. That's right, people. We are back. How's everybody doing? You guys doing good today? Well, hold on to your seats because we got some wild shit to show you, people. Whole lot going on with this mod. A few first. Also, we'll get into all of it. But anyway, today we're taking a look at the Ovanti Vega 200 watt mod. That's right, people. The Vega 200 watt. Now, there's a lot to. There's, there, this is this is interesting, people. There's a lot to show you, and I'm also giving one of these away, which is good because I don't know uh, where you can buy it. But first and foremost, this thing is ribbed. Rib for vape pleasure, people. That's right. It's got some nice thick ribs. This. Let me tell you what's going on here, people. What this is, this is a 200 watt dual 18650 temp control bypass, so forth and so on. Heavy duty mod that has a 1.33 inch TFT screen. Nice colorful screen. Um, it also has a charging dock that we'll speak more on, has some very subtle RGB LEDs and a few other tricks up its sleeve. And we're gonna go over all of it. Now, unfortunately, like I said, this is a newer company. I don't know if it's like a shell corporation of another company or what's going on because there's some nice stuff or this is just to be a brand new company. This is their first mod, but I don't know where it's for sale or what that price would be. So I do know that they have this black and silver and then a red and silver with more colors on the way. That's the most information I can give you in regards to colors and price, people. Okay, so now what we need to do... Oh, yeah, um, yeah, damn it. No, we got to talk packaging. For the up-close segment, showing you all the stuff about the mod, I shot it all up close because there was a lot of shit to talk about. So I guess the next best thing is to speak on is probably going to be the gosh darn packaging. The packaging, let's talk about it. You're going to open this bad boy up. You got some nice little silk papers and shit nice bag that the mods wrapped in beyond that the only other thing that you have is a charging dock and a micro usb charge cable okay and before we start discussing everything this charge dock is pretty interesting you got these three little pins on the bottom of the mod and this charge dock if you want to charge it you just sit it in the in the dock and it pops up a nice little animation of the batteries charging that's a pretty cool little touch now I've seen charging cradles and things before but it was usually for smaller mouth to lung devices no big boy 200 watt 18650 devices so kind of cool kind of cool that's it's different that's neat now I think that's all the shit that I could tell you about from here what we need to do to further understand this Vega mod we gotta dive up close people and there's no better time to do that other than ride meow all right, folks, and now it's time for some up-close action on this here Vega. Like I said, very pronounced ribbing on the side. Very pronounced. I got to say one thing first and foremost. This is a heavy, solid mod. Like, like that bitch is fucking, it's, it's there. It's all there, okay? So let's go ahead and do a little bit of a tour. First, we'll show you the 510 connection. We got a lot of stuff to show you. I figured it'd be best to show you up close. Look at that design. Pretty wild, right? Pretty wild. Let's see how this old triple. Oh, well, will you look at that? Well, you look at that. That's like a glove. Perfect 28 millimeter, people. That's nice. That is nice. And you could probably go a little bit bigger if you wanted to go past that little plateau. But yeah, no, pretty nice. Pretty nice. I can dig it. It's a perfect 28 millimeter spring loaded 510 up there. Let me pop my old Heracles 3 back on here. Um, okay, now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the stuff. Um, so you got a bunch of buttons here. We'll get into that in a second. There are also these LEDs. I think I told you about it, these LEDs, but you can't see them really well. When we get to the screen, I'll turn the lights down and then we can see what the fuck's going on. But uh, on the back here, either side, you can grab your little plate. And then you got a couple of 18650s. Everything's pretty standard in there, right? Got your little dock port down bottom, which is pretty cool. That's it's pretty neat. I've seen docking before, but um, it, it's pretty neat. It's still pretty neat to see. I like it when I see it. But uh, really, I mean, this is a pretty, I mean, besides these ribs, it's pretty simple all the way around. You got your buttons, up and down buttons. Now we need to dive into this large, beautiful screen and these RGB LEDs on the front of here. Okay, let me, let me lower the lights real quick. Give me just a second. Okay, folks, we got the lights lowered. And we're going to get a look at this little screensaver. Very nice. I never did set the time. I rarely do, but there you go. Look at that. Now look at these uh, LEDs. The LEDs go off when the screen goes off, but look at that. 
little, uh, it's really subtle, not very bright, but it's a nice little touch. It's a nice little touch on the insides there. But look at that screen, people. This is one of the wallpapers with a butterfly and shit. You got dual battery monitoring in this bitch. You got, man, come back here. You got all the info that you need. Now, one thing, this menu takes some getting used to. It can be frustrating. Usually, instincts tell you if you want to raise your wattage, just go ahead and start doing it, right? Not on here. You're going to end up switching modes. See that bypass temp control? What you want to do to adjust your wattage is hit the middle button first, and then you can adjust it. And you see how it says normal down there? You want to adjust that? You know, the normal, strong, soft, all that shit, strong plus. Yeah, you can do that. And that's how you adjust stuff. Other than that, you leave it alone. Now, um, you can lock it three clicks, right? There we go. But uh, beyond that, the way you get, in, oh yeah, you got your micro USB charge port down here. But the way you get into the menu is you just hold this middle fella down, okay? So you go vroom, boom. Now, check out this UI. Let me, let me zoom in a little bit more. Check out this UI. I think that is very nice. And what's crazy is before I show you anything else, I'm going to show you that you can change how the menu looks. So this is nice, right? Kind of these little 3D cubes. But you can go in here. Let's say you want a list style. You can change it to a list. That is the first time I've seen that on a mod. I've seen it on smartphones and things where you can change the settings. Uh, but this is the first time I've seen it uh, to where you can do it on here. And now, uh, in a way, I think it's a little bit more easier to navigate, even though it's not as appealing to the eyes. But that is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. So while we're in here, I don't know where the top is. Okay, so system off is at the top. Language, you can change it from English to Chinese. Makes sense. Time, you can set all that shit. No, no, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I don't fucking... Eh, eh, there we go. All right, you can change the font on this guy. You can change the freaking font. That's pretty wild. Uh, theme. Now this is where things get interesting. You can change the UI on the main theme, on the main setup pretty good. So here's one, and you can do a few different colors on it, right? We'll go red. Now let me show you, let me, let me get out of here. Let me show you what that looks like. Okay, so that's that's one, right? Now, so that's how that looks, and you have a few different colors. You can do some stuff, right? Now, let me show you how the other one, the one that had the pictures look. Let me go back in here, the theme, fucking right there. And now you got a few different options. You got a frog chilling in the rain. You got a, a nice little portal looking fucking sand dune situation. What was that movie? Stargate? No, damn it. Uh, dune? I don't, I'm not sure. You got a nice little, little landscape. Got the butterfly. But that's cool. You can change some stuff up. Now you got the LED control here. Now you can set it to breathing. Or it's just going to randomly start breathing different colors. That's pretty nice effect. Like I said, very subtle. Even with these lights low. You can set it to just always on. As you can see, and then you can change the color on it to whatever you want. That's pretty cool. Or you can set it to random, and that's what I leave it on. And it just kind of does different colors. And I like it. Or you can turn the LED off, as you can see. But that's nice. You got a little bit of control on these LEDs. You can adjust the screen brightness. That's dope. Like I said, very well laid out little situation here. Standby time. You go in there and adjust that shit. Uh, menu style, we already went over, reset, upgrade, puff counter, TCR manual, and that's it. But yeah, oh yeah, this is the other screen that I could show you right here. Pretty nice, pretty nice. I think they, they did a really, a really good job on here. Let me change the theme one more time to that galaxy before we back out and look at the rest. Uh, yeah, we'll go there. I said galaxy, that's just stars in a desert. What the fuck am I talking about? So bam, okay. Oh yeah, fuck. Still get confused on that. So that's nice, man. Look at that. That is very well done. And uh, buttons are somewhat clicky. Could be a little clickier, kind of mushy. Everything's there. Uh, that's how you use your stuff. Remember, don't do this. You'll start switching modes. You got to do this. And then you can do stuff. So fuck me, man. I think that's it. This, is a, this thing has a lot of stuff going on. And hopefully, I went over all of it with you guys. So uh, yeah, I think that's it, folks. At this point, I feel perfectly fine with backing out, talking on it, and vaping on it. All right, folks. And there was the Vega mod and all its functions and so forth. Now, the only thing I didn't show up close to talk about so far is the way you update it, which I just read it on the website. I haven't tried it. But it seems pretty easy. You know, usually you got to install some software and do all the shit to update it. With this guy, it uh, it opens up. It's like a flash drive or something. It opens up in its own folder. All you gotta do is download the the link from the website and just drop the update file in the folder, and you're done. So that's pretty cool. You don't have to mess around with any software or anything. It's drag and drop. 
So that's cool. That's cool. Now, like I said, this old Banty company, this is a lot out of the gate for someone I've never heard of. And I got to say, overall, I am pretty impressed. Let me tell you what I like and dislike, okay? Really love this screen. Screen is nice. The wallpaper options, the, the, the way you can change the UI, that's nice. And more importantly, the fact that you can change the menu system style. First time I've ever seen that on a vape mod uh, in this configuration and with a nice colorful screen, drop down menu. It's all very well done. I think they did a really good job on that. Some kudos. The charging dock thing is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I mean, this thing has two amp charging on the micro USB port. So I'm not sure exactly how many amps that uh, charger is, but it, it works. It works and it, they include it. So kind of neat, kind of neat. Love the 510, big 28 millimeter 510 up there. Can fit a triple RTA, no issues, and bigger addies if you don't care about going past that plateau. This thing is very sturdy, very thick, ribbed. It's heavy. It feels like a quality mod. And I like the RGBs. I just wish they could be a little brighter. I know what they were going for, this subtle kind of professional look, but uh, I like them. I like that you can control them. Just wish they were a little brighter because it's kind of hard to notice with any light source around. You got it sitting on your nightstand at night. That's another story. But... Maybe that's what people want. I don't know. Some people might want that, but I like brighter stuff. I don't know. That's one of those things. Overall, man, I think this is a good mod. It's got good features. It seems to fire off pretty damn quick. It looks pretty nice. It's pretty heavy and sturdy, and it's ribbed for my pleasure. What more could I bitch about? Overall, whoever you are, Ovanti, kudos. Kudos. This is a cool fucking weird mod. I like it. Let me have a toke on this. I got to do a video on this Heracles 3 uh, 25 millimeter pretty soon. I've been using it and loving it with the new mesh coils. <sighs> Fires right off. I know a lot of people care about that and what how quick boards fire and shit nowadays. So yeah, it fires really quick. Really, folks, I think that's what I got for you. I wish I had more information to where if you really like this, you would get it. But maybe this video will inspire a distributor here in the US or somebody to pick it up and then maybe you can buy one. But for now, I got no link for the description other than the I'll give you their website link. You can go look at it, take a gander, I don't give a shit. But that's what I got for you. To enter this giveaway, you guys know what to do. Like this video, be subscribed to me, and comment, tell me what you think about this Vega. I think it's pretty nice, let me know what you think. Maybe you think it's nice, maybe it's not. You think some other company owns them? Who owns them? I don't know. <laughs> but either way, yeah, that's how you enter the contest, and that's really, that's it. That's it, people, that's what I got for you. So really, people, what that means, sir. <clears throat> Thank you for watching. I truly do appreciate it. Remember, doesn't matter what the fuck you're vaping on, as long as you're not on them gosh darn stinkies. That's what's important. And last but not least, you stay sexy, YouTube. Me and this Vega mod, we're out. Vaping saves more lives than Jon Stewart.